guys, Whipchip here with a brand new review of the LEGO Ninjago Catamaran Sea Battle. Now this is set 71748 and had 780 pieces and retailed for $70 in the US. As you can see, I'm filming out on the water to review this beast. Let's start with the villain catamaran first, which is easily of the two my favorite. So you can see that this villain catamaran is awesome. It's got a really cool sail as well as a really nice color scheme of like this tan and turquoise. You can see that the sail is actually catching some wind. So there might be a couple times where you can see that the sail is pushing the set forward. You can see on the front they've got these really nice stickers and like for like this animal face. They've also got these bone pieces elements everywhere throughout the set. It looks super cool. You can also see that they use some really cool lightning pieces all throughout to give it some really cool little details. You can see that you can spin these and adjust these. They work really well as like little flaps and I really like that. Very, very cool details. You can also see there's this little rudder on the side which I really like. Very nautical and fits in very well. You can just see that wind pushing up on that sail. You can also see that there's just some very nice little details all throughout this thing. You've got spring-loaded shooters on each side as well as more of those lightning pieces up at the front. They also have the sail piece which I thought was going to originally be a uh, Griefbringer's cloth but it's just that regular paper which sadly can get damaged pretty easily. Oh that's big big wind big wind. You can also see that there's many other little details on this thing so all throughout. You can see I really like the uses of all this white. Adds for a very nice like uh, tribal look which I really like. You can also see that each of these pieces on the side add for some really nice texturing. They make it look like this thing is really made of beams and wood which I think is a really cool little touch. You can also see that on each side you've got these little tusk things. These look really cool, again adding to that very tribal look of this guy. I love all the different bone elements throughout this boat. Very, very, very cool. But one of my favorite personal things about this thing is that you push this in the back and these claws or these teeth at the front jut forward. Now this is like when Twitchy Tim uses the lightning power from the TV show, it juts these out. So that's pretty cool that they even added it in the TV show, making this not only a play feature that looks cool, but also is relevant. You can also see... You can just see that this play feature works very well and I think it works out really well without just like this whole boat. Now on each side you have one of these really cool little boats. Now these boats are super awesome because you can detach them and they're almost like their own little speed oars. I love these things. Definitely one of my favorite play features of the set and one of my favorite parts of the set in the whole. You can see that there's a couple of stud shooters. You got a barrel full of these dark purple gems. There's also these little things which you could declip. There's also this really nice sticker up at the front with some more of those mammoth tusks. You also have enough room to store a minifigure on the back, which is really cool. Now for the other one, which hopefully will take it off without the boat flying away, you can see that this one is actually a jail cell for Jay. Now, this is a really cool little thing because Jay was captured in Season 14, as you guys all know, Gift of Jay, and that's pretty cool. They just use some of these like teeth pieces, very cool. They also have enough room for a minifigure to stand and two spots, very, very nice. You can just see though how much wind that this, the bit, this bad boy is collecting, which I find just pretty cool. Also, when these boats are off, you can flip out the sides and you've got your own little, I guess, like fins. And that's really cool. Again, adding to that whole nautical idea that we're having right now. This is a really cool boat and I really like it. The sail, you can also see, can move up and down. You can also have enough room to store a minifigure such as Chief Mamatus. Now for Kai's boat, you can see right here that we've got like the sail piece, which is very nice. You can move it and adjust it probably for the best because you know you can always just do that you could also take it off if you wanted to which I think is pretty cool you can also see there's some very nice yellowish hot yellow as well as red all throughout this vehicle very nice and I really like it a lot of again like I said very nice details you can see on this side you've got some stickers such as Kai symbol as well as some flames they also use the dragon blade piece with an arrow which is very nice and welcome there's also some spring-loaded shooters again lots of stickers such as on those nexo shields 
You can also see that the cockpit for Kai is very nice. You can see that there's a little bit of a sticker there, you know, moving the flag. There's a sticker as well as a handlebar for Kai, which is, again, very nice. He, can, of course, can hold on to it. You can put Kai down there as well as another minifigure, which is, again, always appreciated. Even though in the show there's a lot more minifigures, I wish you could fit more than just one, but I guess you could fit a minifigure on the sides of the boat, I guess. You can also see that moving away from the cockpit, you can see that there are some very, very nice propellers in the back. Again, adding to that whole nautical theme, which I just absolutely adore. But, probably my favorite part of the boat is the front. You can see that there's some pretty nice spikes up there, which makes it feel very, very, like, pointy. Now, the main play feature of this thing is that you can push on the back and the sides jut out. That's a really cool play feature, and again, it's very clever. I've never seen it done on a Ninjago vehicle. The sides just sort of go out, or you can see as them retracting in if you wanted to think of the version of it out being its main form. But yeah, you get six minifigures in the set, my favorite being Chief Mamatos. Or at least Mimatis, Mamatus, one of the ways. He's got this very big lightning staff, which is really cool. Definitely helps compensate for the fact that his headdress is ginormous. But taking away that staff, or his like lightning staff, you can see that his headdress is very beautiful. It's nicely dual molded, as well as has a little bit of printing on it. That's really cool. Those mammoth tusks too, you also put in, and it's not the helmet's not triple molded. You can see just how nice it is. I very much like the headdress. I love the pearl gold as well as the teal. Very, very nice piece. I even like the back of it. Now this guy's got a kind of a funny head headpiece, which I like a lot more than his more serious expression. Very funny. He's also got this nice new like cape, which I thought which I thought was pretty cool too. A very, very nice minifigure. Next up, we have the Thunderkeeper. This guy's super cool. He's got this staff spear thing that reminds me a lot of Legends of Chima, something I'd see in that. He's also got a very nice mask. I love that mask so much. Very tribal, and really makes the Keepers feel like, you know, they're part of something like Scooby-Doo, which I like a lot. Very nice printing, and I like how sort of the turquoise is a little bit dull, giving the mask almost a uh, painted-on look very nice. Now taking the mask away, you can also see that this keeper has some very nice printing. He even has some back print some printing on the back of his head, which fits in very nice with this minifigure. Again, I really like this guy's printing. It's very nice. Now, next up, we have the Rumble Keeper. Yeah, that's his name. You can see that this guy uses a hat introduced from the Ninjago movie, as well as one of those spears, which actually first came in as a minifigure from Series 20. A shield with a print of Vojira on it, or I, I think that's Vojira. Very nice little, very nice accessories. You can also see his face is very nice. Very, very cool minifigure. Next up, we have Island Kai. This guy is super cool. His weapons is two machetes and <laughs> molded in gold, which I don't have yet, which I think is just super cool and very creative. You can see that he has a really cool new headband, headband, hair combo, as well as some really nice printing for his torso. I really like that. He also includes the Season 11 armor, which is very nice. That way I can equip all of my Season 11 suits that came in the sets with that armor piece, which is very nice. You can see that his hair piece, again, dual molded with that bandana. He also has the movie face, which is pretty nice. Next up, we have Gift of Jay. You can see that Jay has a very nice torso and leg design piece. He also has his flail being a machete, which I thought was pretty clever. Again, I like that. I know some people don't, but I personally like it. Very nice printing again. These island suits, definitely some of my favorite. There's just a mix between being clean but rugged at the same time that I just adore. You can see he's got a nice headband, hair piece combo. Next up, we have Zane. You can see that this guy uses the bow, love the bow, some a quiver, which is pretty nice, as well as his brand new movie hairpiece, which is always nice to see and very welcomed. You can see he's got some very nice printing all around him, as well as his data port in the back. I really like getting this movie hairpiece just because I don't have much of it. This Zane minifigure is great. And last up in the set, we get the Storm Amulet. This amulet's really cool and always welcome addition to the sets. Very nice. Now, overall, what do I think of this set? Well, I like it. It's really good. But I can't help thinking that there's something missing about it. Even though that the both builds are very nice, they feel kind of boring to me. Maybe that's just because I'm not 12 years old anymore, but I don't know. There's something missing. Maybe another Keeper. Maybe another Ninja. 
maybe an exclusive minifigure. And I think that's got to be it. There's not a single exclusive minifigure in the $70 set. That will do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.